while we're down at the boathouse today, I want to show you a couple things. We've got a couple new deals. We've got this Thule box, cargo box. Kind of handy. So what I keep in there is uh, I've got some tools that I don't use very often. I've got boat spare parts and a couple other heavy things that I usually keep in the cave over there. But I end up getting so much stuff on that side it makes the boat kind of heal that way. So this kind of evens it out. So that's nice. Um, also got the new Bimini. It's been a year since we've uh, ordered that thing, a little over a year. Got it from uh, King Marine Canvas in Seattle. They sent it to us and um, they sent us a little snap kit. Had to put the snaps on on the canvas, which was pretty easy. Plus I got to buy a really cool punch. Cloth punch, leather punch. Always got an excuse for something like that. Also, you know, we've uh, had issues with the doors. Uh, we painted them about four months ago. So that's nice. It looked better. Also, we upgraded the opening system. We couldn't uh, ever, uh, like, leave the boathouse and just take off. We'd, if we were going to go for a day or two, we'd have to take the boat, go up to the headwalk, and then we'd have to walk back here, close the doors, and then go back to the boat. Well, now uh, we've got it so they're pretty dependable for opening. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, I got to get the remote control. I keep the remote control by the helm. I'm going to grab that. This is a, a genie opener. Let me see, I gotta go do the clamps. Yeah, I gotta run around and get the clamps, so I'll be right back. So this is the middle, middle clamp, I guess you call it. Comes up. I've taken, uh, built some little brackets that this little rectangle captures. What that does, it keeps the doors from flopping around like that. One thing that's developed since I put those in is that uh, I, I kind of got a dog leg in the metal when I bent it. And as they, as they cross, they kind of bang into each other just a little bit. When I first put them up, they kind of touched. Since then, things have changed a little bit and they, they hit a little harder. So I'm gonna have to get the scaffold back over here uh, and I'm gonna have to get up there and drop them down about a quarter of an inch, one of them. Drop one of them down a quarter inch so they don't hit. So, so you'll see, or hear, uh, what happens. Here we go. Looks pretty good. It's really nice to just leave and have those open like that. So we could, like I could back out right now and, and once they're out of the way I can just close them, go toodle around for a while, a day or two, and then come back and open them back up again. Now watch, here's what happens. As they start coming together, and there's my dog leg. Here they go, watch this. 
Yeah. But otherwise, it works awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's about it. And then, then I close things up. I'll, I'll do that again. I'll, I'll just close this side up. Except when the wind's blowing a little bit, and that's what it's that's why it's there to keep those doors from wobbling. That's my excuse for missing it just now. Yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. Of course there'll always be more things to do. But uh, you know, I appreciate you guys coming by and seeing the videos and uh, it's a lot of fun for me to do this. And I uh, I hope you come back and see us again. Thanks.